we read a lot of people, uh, and we met with a lot of people, and we even offered it to a number of people, but um, it wasn't really working. Um, people would come and audition, and I, I would sort of think that was working. You know, they'd come in, the funny stuff would work, but the dramatic stuff wouldn't, or vice versa, or, or even more complicated than that. And I don't, I don't even know what it was, but um, it just wasn't working. And it was very strange. It was, it was, it's a good Hollywood story. Hugh Laurie was in Namibia. Every time I say that, it sounds funny coming out of my mouth. Um, shooting, a, it shouldn't. It's a, it's a completely legitimate name for a country, and they should be proud of that country. But he was there and um, shooting a movie, and his agent sent him the sides for the scenes that people were auditioning with. And uh, Hugh tells the story that he thought he was auditioning for the sidekick. He read the scenes. It wasn't called House then. It was an untitled pilot. Um, and clearly in his mind, the show, it's an American TV show. It's going to be about the, the good-looking, caring doctor who happens to have a friend who's a bit of an ass, who's just the sidekick. But he wasn't. Um, but he put himself on tape. He went into a bathroom of his hotel room there, put himself on tape. It's on the season one DVD. Um, and he put himself on tape and sent it in. And we watched it, and a light went on. It just was that is what I had in mind from, and I may not even be completely aware of it, but it just kind of all synthesized in that moment. I realized, yes, that is exactly what this character is. Um, and it's been a wonderful situation where from day one, and it's not, this is not always the case, it's basically never the case, the things Hugh liked about this character were the things I liked about the character, and the thing, it just, he was reacting to the character in the exact same way I was, and so that helped us just go down the road and have a wonderful time with it. Who else had you offered the part to? Um, I know we, I can't remember all the, the names, there weren't that many. I know we offered it to Gary Sinise, who wound up doing CSI New York, so that worked out for everybody. Um, I think Patrick Dempsey, I think we offered to, again, worked out very nicely for everybody. Uh, so, and by the way, Brian Singer, we'd, we'd watched, a, a, we'd had a few English guys audition and Brian Singer finally had said, no more English actors because uh, it, the TV schedule is just crazy for, for the accent to get around that. And uh, then he saw, then Hugh put himself on tape and Brian was completely unfamiliar with Hugh's work and just went, this is the kind of guy we need. This, this all American guy. I think he actually said that, and of course we had to inform him that he's English, but Hugh did the accent perfectly, although from day one to the very last day, that was, according to Hugh, his biggest challenge in doing the role was the accent. 